not necessarily the Lions. Is this a must win for Dak Prescott? Meanwhile, you know, last time they played, Tua threw six touchdowns. Nobody wants to remember that. I do. Can he steal the MVP from Lamar this weekend? And finally, as promised, in one hour, it's the most motivational segment in all of sports. It's the Bud List alongside Nick Wright and Kevin Wilds. Drew, in that previous clip, it looked like Mahomes was trying to motivate the Chiefs. Is there a chance he himself finds it? himself on the Bud List? He was very close. So he's Along, not he, he didn't make it. Uh, I'm not that I'm not trying to motivate him, yeah. but he just didn't he make the, the cut. He bubble? was on the bubble. He was bubble on the cutting, cutting room floor. He would have been so were the Detroit Pistons, but they oh. didn't make it. Oh. I just didn't have anything to say to them. I was just like, ah. fair. no, uh, no motivation for him. We start with Dallas Chatter. All right, here's the story. You got to follow me on this one. After losing to the Dolphins, Micah Parson watched the 49ers game and took a shot at Brock Purdy, writing down 21. There's no shots or development throws. Should tell you all you need to know, exclamation point. Now, that tweet warranted caustic responses from Debo and Gronk. Take a listen. Bro, we beat you 24, I mean, 42 to, like, whatever the score may be. Like, like a long time ago, like, I don't, I don't get why he's so bothered about what we got going on over here, whatever the case may be. It's really weird that he's tweeting that out there. First, there's a, there's a saying out there. Losers focus on winners, and winners focus on winning. And if you want to be a winner, you just got to focus on winning. I kind of like that. I'm going to start saying that. Uh, then Micah responded, prime example of let's attack the person rather than addressing the topic. Another exclamation point. Yeah, because it's so weird a football player talking about football on a website where you can write your own thoughts and opinions. Another exclamation point. So there you go, bro. Your reaction. Look, I know people think I get pleasure and joy out of destroying, I guess, the Cowboys. Sure. All right? The tomato cans, the mm-hmm. F grades and all that. Yeah. I like Micah. He was my pick for defensive player of the year in the preseason. We'll see if that comes to pass. But this is why I two things come to mind. Number one, this is one example. It's actually reason number 4,080. How about that? Okay. Of why the Dallas Cowboys will not reach the Super Bowl, and why they haven't gotten even to the Final Four, the NFC title game, in the last 28 years. It is because they have a culture that lacks maturity and discipline. Mm. And it starts with the owner. It starts at the top with Jerry Jones and trickles down throughout the organization. And Mike is just the player personification of it. All right, that's all. He's just in the mix of it. All right. But also... This is why I didn't want Micah doing the podcast. Remember I said in the beginning of the year, he shouldn't have a podcast. Because he's too young. All the other players that have, or not all, but most of them, the Kelsey brothers, Draymond Green, they're veterans who played a long time. They've won championships. Micah's 24. He's young. He's new to the league and has no jewelry to speak of. Should he not have a Twitter account either? Because this wasn't on the podcast. Twitter, whatever. It's the same thing. He's not mature enough. Look, he's not mature enough to walk the fine line of being a comp, you know, having a podcast or tweeting about football and about your team without putting out damaging or inflammatory stuff. Where it's a hard line to walk because. He's acting like he's one of us or like he's Ryan Clark or some ex-player who's not going to have to step on the field. All right. And then finally, this, how are you criticizing Brock Purdy, Micah? I, I, Brock Purdy put uh, 42 yeah, points, 42. four touchdowns, 252 yards, and had a passer rating of 144. Yeah. All right. And then since you want to be an analyst, Make it some good analysis. All right, you say he, he can't throw down the field. That's not what he said. That's well, not what he they're said. They're not throwing down. I'm taking it that way. Well, but that, they're not throwing down the field. All right, why aren't they throwing down the field? Brock, the implications that Brock Purdy can't do it. And yet, we got this graphic oh, showing that on t- passes of 20 or more air yards, you get your turn, Nick. Passes <laughs> of 20 or more that's air yards. Brock Purdy has the greatest passer rating of any quarterback since 2006. All right, so it's not like he can't throw down the field. 
All right, I don't know why they weren't, but the, the implication that he's garbage, he's no. a game manager, that, but a game manager put four okay. TDs in 250 yards. All right, solid. Uh, Come it, on, it, solid. It's it, just it, immature. Is it wrong. my turn now? Yeah, it's your okay, turn. Go got ahead. It. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be chiming the, in with. The, the, but yeah. but, but <laughs> that, 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 that's your sentence too. Right. But, <laughs> uh, you know how I know Wilds when I had a great take on this show. Why? When the responses on social media are about my hair or my suit, mm. I'm like, oh, the ad hominem attacks have come because people don't want to address the substance of what I said. And Micah's substance, the specific thing he said, is undeniably correct. It is not, he did not talk about the totality of the season. He did not talk about the Niners uh, against the Cowboys. He said, down 21, running the ball and, t- and dump off passes instead of deep shots. Interesting. And that is correct. Down 21, late in the third, at the ball near midfield. Here's what Kyle Shanahan called. Run, 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 and then three straight dump-offs. I don't know if it was called dump-offs or it's just what Purdy ended up yeah. doing, including on a fourth and 11. Yeah. What Mike and we can show you Purdy's passing chart from the game, which shows you there. You know what I would have liked to see, and I think Mike is talking about deep downfield incompletions, even taking shots and chances because you're down 21 points. Why does not Mike feel where I mean, the, I get it, but well, so we're again, kind of missing the forest. The, it, for the it, no, I, I dis, I, I disagree with you. How many people watch that football game? 30, 30 million? million yeah. Was it a standalone game? Would yeah. anyone have any issue if Mike had tweeted, man, Lamar Jackson is balling? Nobody has a problem with Micah watching the game. Yeah, of course. Nobody has. Right. That's not the so problem. The, the problem is he's saying. So I, I want to know what you think he's saying. Because I think he's taking a shot I at think, Brock Purdy. Yes, of course he, he can't. Of course so he what, is. That's what of I was saying. No, no, no. But he's you, saying he can't throw it down no, the field. No, what he was saying is that the coach did not trust him in that spot to try to bring them back with his arm, which A, I believe is true, B, I believe is smart analysis, and C, and here's the other part of it that I think that where I vehemently disagree with Brew on as far as, oh, he's providing the Niners bulletin board material. The best thing that could possibly happen to the Dallas Cowboys mm-hmm. is if they have to play the Niners in the playoffs, Brock Purdy enters that game with a chip on his shoulder. The best chance the Cowboys have, have of beating them is if Purdy's like, oh, I remember what he said about me. I'm going to prove him wrong. Now, I don't think he this is four going to. He touchdowns on Micah Parsons' I, defense. The, I, so, hold on. So, I understand that that happened. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> do you think the Cowboys have, would have a chance of beating the Niners unless Brock Purdy melts down? Do you think the only – so I actually don't think that these tweets will impact an upcoming game. I don't think you necessarily I agree, do. I either. agree because the, the Niners aren't even thinking about the Cowboys. I, well, Debo, Debo was like – yeah, No, he's, he's clearly not. Debo was like, uh, we beat them like 42 to what? So, like he's, they're not even on his radar. All right, he's not thinking about them. But Micah has got the Niners on his brain, and it's, I guess he should. It's when they odd that Micah Parsons is trying to win – in the court of public opinion rather than on the field. After they lost that game, 42-10, to 10, Micah Parsons uh, had this quote, and I'm quoting from Michael Gelkin, NFL. Uh, I don't think the 49ers are at a higher level than us. I think we're the same caliber playoff team. Remember we ran this quote? Yeah. It was just an odd quote.